An update now to breaking news we brought to you last night. We're hearing from both Norman police and a man who says his father was the one officer shot and killed on Highway 9. News 9's Brittany Toulis is in Norman now with new information. The man who his son named as James Morrison Sr. had warrants out for skipping bail when he ran from police. The high speed chase ending with officers gunning him down. Norman police say the chase started around 845 Thursday night at 12th and Alameda when officers spotted Morrison's car. An officer turning on its lights behind the car to pull him over, but Morrison sped off. Norman PD says he hit high speeds going into oncoming traffic at times. Morrison's son was along for the ride as his dad fled officers. I made a right, went with the Highway 9 and made a left. And then that's when the officers started ramming us from behind and started shooting at us uh, for the next two or three miles. But Morrison Sr. continued to drive, turning onto 60th off of Highway 9. And then they hit us again. Uh, that's when the vehicle come to a complete stop if the car wasn't moving after that. So my dad had gotten out of the car and he had his hands up and they're still shot him. Police say Morrison Sr. was armed, something his son says was not the case. He had okay. a cigarette in his mouth, he had eyeglasses on his face, that's all. Uh, it says he pulled a gun, but I didn't see a gun. Morrison died at the scene. His son says his dad's girlfriend was grazed by a bullet. Police say neither of the two were involved or are being charged. At the Norman Police Department, Brittany Tulis, Oklahoma's own News 9.